And yeah, man, you're tuned in to Positive Vibration Headquarters Vibes Radio. And yes, I, we are joined by the amazing Tigse. Karibu sana. Santi sana. Yeah, man. And of course, we have Kevin. Kevin already has his guitar and the mic uh, synced. But big up on yourself, Kevin. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, Sheriff, mm -hmm. I'm ready to get this party started now. Tingse, yeah. you started music in 2007. Yes, I did. Uh, just straight out of school. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about why reggae and why music? Um, first of all, big up yourself. Thank you. I used, I've listened to you when I was growing up, so it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. You, you're making yeah. us to one of these. No, no, man, this is my uh, daily no, job to listen to people. This is, this is uh, <laughs> scary, uh huh? And I told man, and I still evil, yeah, man. So I used to listen to Akina Naz and Wally mm -hmm. uh, the artists, okay? Yeah, so I identified with reggae because reggae is very conscious, and uh, most of the messages that reggae propagate uh, message oriented messages okay so I identified with it yeah man yeah. and so 2007 when you just came out of school you come from a, a mu musical family yes uh, your family some people in your family were in a band yes so was this something that also influenced you I w yeah I would say so because they used to sometimes uh, practice at home okay yeah so I would you know sneak in and listen to them just, you know just strumming the guitars like oh, I think it sounds interesting okay and yeah. then from 2007 to now 2020 that's 13 years yes what can you say has been uh, you know highlights of your musical journey I think uh, getting to you know meet people like you that's <laughs> one <laughs> If I miss Hello, it. I'm a highlight, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm a highlight in the career. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, because uh, these are people, you know, and well, was me growing was like now being with these people, it's I would say it's a dream come true. Okay, and yeah. you were mentored by Echo Dida, is it? Not really. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, but we have been working with him. Yeah, man. And uh, Samukat, you know, Pastor Samukat. Oh yes, yeah. we've had Samukat over here on the show. We loved his music, and uh, actually we were discussing a very important thing, uh, and Samukat really just brought a lot of sense. So big up in yourself, yeah. Samukat. So you doing gospel? Yes, I do gospel. So reggae. it's gospel reggae. Yes. Um, and how do people like take that? Do they receive it well? Because I know gospel music already is a challenge because you have to stick within the confines, confines of, the, of the religion and of yeah. the church and stuff. But now you're going on a reggae, you know, so how do they take it? Do they accept it or do they shun it? Of course, there are, there are people who would say, you know, reggae, nah. Until now, they start <laughs> hearing you, you know, sing and they're like, okay. Okay, they, yeah, you're they, spreading yeah, the message. spreading the message. Okay. Yeah, so I would say it's 50-50. There are those who are still, you know, stereotype in a way and there are those who embrace it holistically. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait to hear this music, but of of course, guys, uh, he's going to be singing for us very soon. But also, as we do on every Acoustic Thursday, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about polygamy now. So, for everybody who's at home, I know, I know, I know you're sitting there listening, wondering why polygamy. It's because Musical Sheriff felt defeated the other day <coughs> um, and thought he could redeem himself with this Have uh, debate. Me? Have you seen me so far? I'm like vroom, 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 vroom. I, I can vroom, see you're vroom. ready to go. No problem, <laughs> no problem. We're ready to hear what you have to say about that and of course what you have to say about it, Tingse, as well. Yeah. So yeah, man, Acoustic Thursday is about to get started, guys. We're going to hear some gospel reggae. Keep it right here. Yeah. Now, Tingse, tell me a little bit about your name. Tingse, mm -hmm. what, what, what is the inspiration? Tingse is... Uh, it's a combination of two Jamaican patois words. Mm -hmm. Ting and something say. and say, say something. So, so say, say something. something. Yes. The things of me I say. Yeah, man. Okay, okay, guys. Yeah, yeah, we overstand us. No worry. Yeah. So the thing is, right, I am just trying to hear you sing. We've right. been to, we're about to talk about polygamy. Don't worry. Musical <laughs> Sheriff now, now. You're a bit, uh, you're really holding on to your points, huh? As a real <laughs> African man, yeah? And Kevin, of course, ready with your guitar there. Yeah. And I want you to tell me a little bit about this song, One of a Kind. One when of did you kind. write it and what was the inspiration for this tune? One of a Kind, um, I wrote it uh, 29, early, 20, early last year. Okay. Almost the same time. I voiced it on uh, Shamir, one of Shamir's rhythms. All right. Uh, I think that was Love Love Pouts. Okay, okay, yes. cool. So it, it, it was more of an affirmation, mm -hmm. kind of an affirmation, you know, song, uh, you know, 
the the positive kind of way of affirming yourself who you are who i am in god and who god is to me all right all right yes. i'm looking forward to listening to this song so guys if you are listening this is tingse with one of a kind na 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 yeah I'm a different breed, I'm a different kind, yeah. Never existed before. Super city the present past and the future time, yeah. I'm one of a kind. I'm a different breed, I'm a different kind, yeah. Never existed before. Super city the present past and the future time, yeah. I'm one of a kind, well. Brand new creations, it's a different species. Second Corinthians 5:17, you know, see it. Burn off the world with corruptible seed. I am the image of God, I am, I am himself. He transformed into the image likeness of the sun. Come follow me, no, no, no. I man look the grum. Commonwealth of Israel, I am. I'm part of the fam. Angels stand around, protect me from alarm. I'm a different breed, I'm a different kind, yeah. Never existed before. Super city, the present, past, and the future time, yeah. I'm one of a kind. I'm a different breed, I'm a different kind, yeah. Never existed before. Super city, the present, past, and the future. I'm one of a kind, well put it but take a participator of the divine nature Strongly built by the word in a stature The oil where reside in me, yes it a teacher Set me up but separate different preacher In a me music, yo, can't forget to big up Nazizi vibes, radio cues, season second It offend it enough, have quality texture Hakuna matata, tell them say no pressure I'm a different breed, I'm a different kind, yeah Never existed before Super city, present, past, and the future time, yeah. I'm one of a kind. I'm a different breed. I'm a different kind, yeah. Never existed before. Super city, present, past, and the future time, yeah. I'm one of a kind, yeah. Yo, what? you are one of a kind, man. Who? <laughs> oh, I got goosebumps. Did you get goosebumps, musical uh, sheriff? Wait, what? Because uh, when you said the mentioning, uh, anyway, I caught, I caught, uh, <laughs> I caught something there. Caught when, something. He mentioned, when he mentioned, uh, uh, Nazizi. Hey, uh, hey, just hey, say hey. it. Alipo mentioned Nazizi. Yeah. Come on now, say it. It's easy. When he mentioned uh, <laughs> Vibes Radio. <laughs> but love the tune. That's one of a kind by Tingse. And of course, we have one more tune by you. You're going to be singing for us, Restored. Yes. What is Restored about? Restored is uh, basically my life journey. My life journey, you know, uh, you know, from we grow from level to level, faith to faith. Yes, I. Grace to grace. Yeah, man. Yeah. So basically, it's my life journey, uh, where I was at, at a certain point in life, and where now God has, you know, taken me to. Where. All right, we yes. have Kevin playing the guitar for Tingse, and they're gonna yeah. be playing for us. Restored up in here, season circle. So stay tuned. Na na yeah, oh na na na, my destiny aligned. Oh oh, walking in newness of life. Oh oh oh, destiny aligned. Oh oh oh, na 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 yeah. Me write this song as a declaration. Romans 6 verse 4, what a proclamation. A life of follow me chatter, what me conversate on. That's why I look to Jesus, yes, I am depend on. Eh. Change me life, change me story. Grace multiplied, be more pathetic, see the glory. Is fame, no, is the broad water God. See our own God, I saw me life blossom and bloom. A line, oh, oh, walking in newness of life. Oh, 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 destiny aligned. Oh, oh, walking in newness of life. And Christ I found my life. Hey, my steps are ordered by God, me deep on the right track. My destiny is secure, Jesus Christ have me back. Lift me out the slimy pit, I send me feet upon the rock. Select a play the rhythm. 
No better best up me praise a praise him all round the clock. My isha yangu yes I owe him a bit on lock. As I had ten anointing flow and break the yoke. I'm riding on prophetic was PF and spoke a line. Oh, oh, walking in newness of life. Oh, oh, musical sheriff, big up yourself, destiny aligned. Oh, oh, Nas, big up yourself, yeah, yeah. Till I when me rich, when me Ebenezer Praise and worship you, my, my Redeemer God of BF, yes to me, that you are Balini me and I only me talk afar Destined for glory by my Creator Gospel to the world, you me propagate ya Wonders and signs, them follow back ya my destiny aligned Oh, oh, walking in newness of life Oh, 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 destiny aligned Oh, oh, walking in newness of life In Christ I found my life Ace! Man, what a tune, what a tune Me love it so much And that was Tingse right here On Season Seco with that amazing, amazing vibes But you know what? You know what? I know you couldn't resist You know what? He bid musical Sheriff up And now I Sheriff knew, is I knew smiling. you were coming to roast me <laughs> I saw you coming from here. <laughs> Ting said, I love it. Kevin, great job. I love, I love, I love the tunes. And we're going to be talking about what I think about those tunes a little bit. And you're listening to Vibes Radio Season Circle. And if you've just joined us, you missed a fire, fire performance by Tingse. Want to big you up again one more time. Easy. Yeah, man, we love the music. And of course, we told you we're going to be discussing something with Tingse and with Musical Sheriff. Polygamy. Okay? Now, Sheriff, because you've been waiting so much to discuss this, I'm going to I'm gonna let you tell us what you want to say. <laughs> it's not like what I want to say. What do you want to say about, about polygamy? About what you're going to have a discussion here with. You know, your last week you... So the discussion is starting with... Uh, Sindio, yeah. that's why... I am not Ruth's daughter. You can't... Okay, so you can't... Okay, so... Okay, so... Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, the, what we're discussing today... Yes, ...is, I? is uh, about polygamy. Okay. Um, we're asking, mm -hmm. um, would you accept... Okay, fine. And polygamy is is, uh, is it's acceptable in Kenya, in, in Kenya, in Kenya right? and in many but cultures. Literally, mm -hmm. would you accept to have your partner bring in a another second yeah. into the into your relationship? Amazing question. Um, mm. for me, sheriff. Yeah, it's a no. Huh? Mm. huh. <laughs> it's a no. I wouldn't accept it. Honestly, you know what? Yeah. Know thyself, ama. Ujijue, because I wouldn't want to lie and say. I can do it because I was born in a religion that accepts four wives. Mm -hmm. But one thing I always said is I'm not going to be in a list one, two, three, four. Because first of all, we like to um, use history to our advantage mm -hmm. and we like twisting it. So as much as we were told, have four wives if you can treat them equally, mm -hmm. love them equally. Yes. We already know you can't love four women equally. You'll have a favorite. But guys like to remove these important points mm -hmm. and say dini na kubali so for me uh, i knowing myself mm -hmm. i don't have time for competition says he compete na dunia and he compete na to kwenye music scene he compete na na wase kwa stand ya ma 3 then he and the home tena nianze ku compete na made mwingine huko about my husband no sir it's not going to work what do you think things say what do you think about polygamy well uh personally on a my perspective i would say no yeah uh, because um will god will create a woman mm -hmm. and a man mm -hmm. the relationship is one way because it's a covenant relationship so if you say that una bring another lady into the scene or another guy into the scene for the lady now on the lady side mm -hmm. it will be a breach of covenant you see that? Eh, hey, you're only from Bible level <laughs> last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing I big up about, you know, people who know their Bible and who know their religious books. Mm -hmm. They don't uh, use it just when it suits them. Yeah. They use it from A to Z, not he na ni suit, he ni suit. Yeah. So I totally agree with you. But the thing is, we come from an African culture where polygamy is something very normal. Yes. I'll tell you a funny story that you, don't, you guys don't know. Mm -hmm. Um... My grandfather, mm. who came from India, yeah. married two sisters. So when I grew up, I had two grandmas my entire life. Okay. Bibim Kubo, Bibim Dogo. Sisters, they lived in harmony. Let me tell you, when I came to be of age and realized what this situation meant, I yeah. was like, 
Okay. I've never seen a fight, first of all. Kuli and Daje. But the, the uh, most amazing thing about it is how they raised their children. So my dad and all his siblings, mm. they never knew that this is my mom or this is my mom. Mm. Even us, as, as we were growing up, we never knew this one is my grandma and this is my step-grandma, whatever. Mm-hmm. It was just one big family. Yeah. So for me, I've seen it working. It can work. And these are sisters, by the way. I'll repeat it. Two sisters, one husband. And that's from the history of Ruth's daughter. So, you know. Like blood sisters. Yeah, blood sisters. And they lived in harmony. Like, they were inseparable. They went everywhere together, you know. So it's something that can work. And in African culture, it's been working for mm-hmm. very long. But for me, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I can be in such a relationship as I. Because I know I'm selfish, man. Super selfish. I don't want to share my man but or my husband. Don't you think that in today's uh, world, mm-hmm. like, uh, for example, in the context of, uh, say, Kenya, yeah, man. right now, yeah, man. we've got lots of uh, diseases and STDs going mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the African man is somebody who will want to venture out here and there. Yeah. Yes. Um, for lack of a better word. <laughs> I, 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 I just saw you roll your eyes. <laughs> well, I just saw no, you roll no, no. your eyes when no. I said the African man. I totally understand, right? Um, but the thing is, I feel like for me it doesn't work. I'm not saying it doesn't work for everybody. Yeah. So for those who are able financially, mm-hmm. for those who feel like it's a legitimate way of keeping your the rest of your family safe, mm-hmm. because you know people, men are never satisfied. So you'll bring one saying... This is Sony Skulete Ugonjwa. And yeah. then, Uta pia na huyo umeleta. So, it can't work. What do you think, Tingse? Well, uh, personally, I would say, because Ata Tukianza na, let's say, one wife. Yeah, man. It takes a whole lot to build that relationship. That's so very I'm, true. I'm, I'm now trying to think. Emotionally. With, emotionally. <laughs> Even now, big point. Uh, yeah, even big now, point. Ataku, uh, you know, r- building the woman. You know, me, I, I believe in building the women. Uh huh. Um, it, because it's a two way thing. Yeah, man. But now you guys are one. That's so true. So now having other people join in. It's in quite a, mess, a confusion. Yeah, in a mess everything up. All right, all right. I love the conversation. Guys, you can head on to our socials and tell us, you know, what do you think about this polygamy thing? And of course, when I come back, I want to tell you about the other side of polygamy polyandry. Let's hear what you think about that. <laughs> And that's what's happening right now here on Season Circle when we're joined with Tingse and Kevin. Mm-hmm. And of course, the musical Sheriff and Aina Zizi, the Roots daughter. And we just want to say big up on yourself for you guys. Kevin, say something. <laughs> <laughs> You're shy? <laughs> no, no, it's just so off guard. Um, you know what I realized? Yeah. Um, people who play instruments, they never want to talk. Ever. I noticed that as well. I was just about to say that as well. Yeah. But maybe, you know, if, if you guys should watch out, because maybe you can give me the chance and then I take over the show. So <laughs> you guys should really consider that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Kevin, with that guitar. It was yeah. awesome. Thank we you. loved it. And Tix, I want you to tell us, um, where can we follow you? How can we support your music? Uh, you can follow me on IG at JoeTingse1. Okay. On Twitter at JoeTingse1. Um, I have a Facebook page that's Tingse, T I N G space S E H. Yes, and uh, I'm also on YouTube. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's Joe Tingse. Okay. Yes. Guys, make sure you go and check out this amazing, amazing talent. And yes, Sheriff had a question for you as well. Just one word, one answer. Yeah. If you could change anything in the industry, what would it be? Disunity. Thank you. Oh, amazing. I love it. Yes, yes. Guys need to be more united in this year time yeah. and in this year place. Yeah. We have to unite more. But I want to say keep going. I love the sound and I feel like you're going places. So keep doing what you're doing. Mm. Keep representing for the you know gospel reggae. Yeah. Not so many people doing that. So big up for choosing that. And of course, just a message really quick to everybody who's listening in. Love people. Uh, because um, in this life, it's all about relationships. So treat the next person the way you would want to be treated because um, your breakthrough is a person away. Yeah, man. Wow. Big one. Nice. Your breakthrough is a person away. You heard it from Tingse right here on Season Circle. Vibes Radio. We rule the nation in this generation.